This video, I guess you could say, is kind of a follow-up to the push stick video I made, which is starting to be controversial, which I was not unexpected because people are often uh, stuck on their ideas and they are unwilling to change and they are convinced that their ways are the best. And you know what? Maybe their ways are the best. All I can do from, you know, my pulpit here is tell you about my ways, okay? And my ways have made it possible for me to keep all 10 of my fingers. I have never touched the running blade on a table saw, not once. And I've been using table saws since I was 13 years old. And I think yeah, I got caught by my sister when I was like 11 using a circular saw and she blackmailed me all summer with that. So that's a, you know, something you remember. But the table saw, I've been using it for the past, uh, you know, 37 years because I'm well, actually 38 because I'm 51 years old. And I've used it basically every day of my life since then because I'm not just a woodworker on YouTube. Before this, I was a carpenter, a trained carpenter, uh, uh, you know, a real carpenter, <laughs> not a phony one. And I framed, uh, I framed a couple of houses, that kind of stuff. I did lots of renovations, you know, working commercial construction, did lots of work that involved using table saws every day in every situation every place. So I know the table saw inside and out. And what I know about it is the way that it works best and is safest for me. And that's what I was trying to show in that video. Now I said that a lot of people complain about my push stick, which I can't find. Again, I'm doing too much cleaning up and I'm losing my stuff. Hang on. Luckily I've got a whole box of them. This one happens to have Toolify sticker. If you don't watch his videos, go check it out. There'll be a link in the description. Um, when did he put that on there? Oh, yeah, the meetup thing. So anyway, um, a lot of people say that, you know, your hand is clo too close to the blade. And as I showed in the video, I showed in the video that your hand is, in fact, not close to the blade when you have the height of the blade adjusted correctly. Now, I got a comment in the, uh, in the comment section on that video saying that, oh, it's much better to raise the blade up. It will take less effort to push the wood through and there's less chance of a violent kickback. And um, I don't think that's, I don't think there's any validity to that at all. It takes a certain amount of force to push wood through a blade anyway. And what will cause kickback in general is if your wood starts to twist and you should be able to feel it by then. You know, a way to get around that is to have a riving knife that can help, but it will not 100% solve it. The other way is that if your fence is not parallel to your blade and that will cause kickback or if your blade is dull. So a given in my world is that you're working on a correctly set up machine, that your blade is parallel to your fence and those two don't change while you're cutting. Also, you're working with a sharp blade. That way, you, when you push the wood through the blade, it's cutting. It's not, you know, burning its way through. So in that video, I said to adjust your blade height so it's just clearing the wood. Normally, what I try to do is make it so that the gullets that's the rounded parts of the blade. Just clear the wood so that it, you know, it clears the chips properly. But even if it's down lower, it really doesn't matter. Now I've got a blade in here. It's not razor sharp, but it's not that dull either. I've got a piece of two by four here that is one and a half inches thick. It's just regular spruce, not hardwood or anything. And I'm gonna make the cut at this height first. And then I'm gonna make the cut at the raised position as well.
Okay, I made both cuts and I'll be honest, I felt no difference in the amount of force required, not one gram of difference in the amount of force required to push the wood through. And you know what? Don't take my word for it, okay? Try it on your own saw and you'll see that it's absolutely the truth. Having the blade all the way up like this makes no difference the amount of force it takes to cut the wood. Not on a measurable scale anyway. Well, like I said, all of this is just the stuff that I can tell you that's working for me and I've got no reason to lie or make things up because like I say, I'm relying all of this on very extensive experience using these tools. So I think I would know. I'm also the type of person that doesn't take things at face value. You hear a lot of parroting going on out there. Somebody hears something and they immediately take it as law and they live it, you know, they say, and then they'll argue with you about it too. They'll say, oh, no, 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 this is the way it is. Well, I question everything and that's what's made me the person that I am, I guess. Um, I don't take anything at face value. I always examine everything, especially when I'm doing something over and over again. I try to make it more efficient or make it uh, safer for me because Obviously, keeping my fingers attached to my hand is very important to me.